Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be starting our first in our series of Chia Kindergarten. I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of little steps so you can get started with farming for Chia. Just to let you know, I'm at 437 plots right now and still farming. I have my setup. Of course, you're gonna be utilizing anything you have possible that you will consider to do farming for Chia. It could be an older machine, it could be your, your most current machine. It doesn't matter, we can all get started and at least try to see what that process is like. So let's Let's begin. The first thing you want to do is just open up your browser of choice and type in Chia Downloads. Click on the first link that says Chia.net. Here you have the option to download the latest for Windows and the Mac OS. Since we're working on the Windows 10 machine, we're going to be downloading the Windows application. Install the Chia application. Here you will see the application launch and we will begin our next step. Let's create a new private key. Now Chia provides us with our 24 key. You have to be really careful with this key. This is how you would access your wallet and your wallet only to make sure that no one else copies this. Now this is only for demonstration purposes. I will never ever be putting any Chia coins into this wallet or Possibly, maybe you'll get lucky and I'll have a few in there. So, but to make sure you write this down and keep it in a really safe place. Once you finish with that, let's click on next. Now that we have the keys copied, make sure once you launch back the application, if it wasn't saved, to enter them in order and with the correct spelling so we can get back into the application with that key that was given to us. Click on safe to skip. Now we're on to step five. You see the status, we will need to let it sync. Right now we have nothing to contribute to the network space, which we're gonna change all of that very shortly. You can navigate and get yourself familiar with the environment. This is your phone node, and this is where once it syncs, it'll give you more additional information. Here it'll tell you all the connections that are making and the blocks that are checking, but only and only when you have plots that are completed. This is your wallet information, this wallet will update once you actually get some Chia coins into it. Plots is what we're going to work on next. But before we begin, let's just keep on going down the rest of the column. You can add a plot here and this will be the directory where it finds the completed plots so it can start doing its farming and looking for challenges so you can win the Chia coins. There's an advanced tab that will show you what harvesters are connected to you. But as of right now with this kindergarten series, the harvester will be in our next video. Keys is pretty much similar to logging off that session. And you can actually import another wallet if you want it to. But for this demonstration, we're just going to go back into the key that we just configured. Now you can hit this eyeball and it'll show you additional information with your private key, public key, and seed name. The seed words that were just used before if you ever forgot it. Let's go back into our session. Now here, let's click on plots and let this sync on its own. There's nothing you can do to control that right now. Now before we go, continue on, you have to make sure that port 8444 is open on your network to this particular farmer full node. That's gonna allow the machine to communicate with the outside world on that port so you could potentially win these Chia coins. But that's not until you actually have plots. So let's go create one now. Click on add plot, add a plot. You can choose different sizes, but the most common is K32. So what in regards to the K32, you need at least 239 gigs of temporary space to accommodate the writing of this file. And once it finalizes, it becomes 101 gigabytes. We will leave this as the default recommended K32 space. Choose number of plots. Here, you have to make sure your mommy and daddy actually bought you additional space. Because if you don't, you wouldn't have anywhere to write this file to or have the space for its temporary destination, which is very crucial in this point. Now, what we're gonna do is just leave everything the default. We're just trying to get us started with a plot where it says, look for the temporary folder location. We're gonna click on browse. This is where the most crucial thing is. You see right now, I have no space whatsoever. You can choose to do a temporary space within your current C drive. Here, I'm gonna just call it temp and select this folder as the temp. Final directory, I'm also gonna call it create a new folder and call it final 
directory and select folder. Now this is all for demonstration purposes. What you really should have is a dedicated drive separate from your operating system to run this temp directory. And then of course a larger destination drive so you can store more than a few plots. And what we're gonna do now is create the plot. You would see the plots populate and it'll start running through the process. You can check the status of it by clicking on view log. And here it'll give you the information that you just set up this plot with. Plot size 32, the amount of threads that it's using, and the size of how much memory it's using. We can close out of this. Now there are multiple ways of creating plots. You can do it on this interface as well as on the command line. And you can do it on multiple operating systems besides Windows as well. There you have it. Well this is the first lesson in our kindergarten series on how to get Chia installed on a Windows environment with the GUI. One of the easiest and simplest ways to get started with Chia farming. Thank you guys for watching.